Today on Beer TV's How To Tuesday, we're going to show you how to double the output of your RODI system and cut the wastewater in half at the same time. Hi, I'm Ryan, host of BRS TV's How To's, where each week we help our fellow reefers with another How To project. This week we're going to install a 150 gallon per day upgrade kit for your RODI system. This kit basically doubles the output of your standard 75 gallon per day system to 150 and effectively cuts the wastewater in half by adding a second membrane. What we're going to do is connect them in series, which means we're going to feed one membrane off the other using a method known as wastewater staging, which is super popular in a wide variety of reverse osmosis applications. All we're doing is feeding the second membrane off the wastewater from the first. The TDS coming from the second membrane will be slightly higher once blended together, but still zero after the DI stage, so the net quality of the water doesn't get impacted at all. Just to give you an example of what's happening here, let's say we started with 100 TDS water when we're running our system on a 4 to 1 waste to product water ratio with a 98% rejection, which is pretty common. The first membrane would probably produce around 2 TDS, and the second one might be 2.4, but blended together would average to 2.2, which is not something a TDS meter can even read so it would likely still say two. The impact will be more significant with dirtier water, so we don't recommend it if you have particularly dirty water, like 300 TDS or more. You can still do it, but you might start to consume DI resin a bit faster than normal. Insulation should only take a few minutes, and the first thing you need to do is just grab your membrane, locate the seal, and make sure it's on the outside. Screw on your cap. Then take the two clips that we have here, which we are going to use to attach the two membranes together. And now, remember I said that we're going to feed the second membrane with the wastewater. So I'm going to remove the wastewater tube here. And now I'm going to take a new piece of tube and insert it into the wastewater and feed the second membrane with this piece of tubing. Now what we need to do is take the old wastewater line that had the flow restrictor on it and insert it into the outside fitting, which is the wastewater line. Now this flow restrictor will serve as the flow restrictor for both units. Now the only thing left to do is connect the two product water lines so they blend together. So remove the original product water line. I've already cut a couple of pieces here, but we'll just connect them like this. So now you can see that we have both of the product water lines combined here and blended going into the auto shutoff. So we'll have two functioning 75 gallon per day membranes, which means we'll have 150 gallons per day, and we'll only have one wastewater line, which means we cut the wastewater in half. One other note on this kit is it's ideal for people who have chloramines in their water because the pre-filter chloramine carbon blocks are more expensive and don't last as long. This upgrade will allow you to double the product water you get from your pre-filters. If you have any questions or comments on how this project worked out for you, check out the comments area down below. If this is your first time with us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we do this every week. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV How To's.